Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your March 16th, uh, the week of March 16th, the reading. Um, this energy could resonate with you, it could not. If it doesn't, that's okay. Um, check your moon or rising sign. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Um, thank you to those who already do so. Uh, yeah, we'll save the announcements to the end. Um, Cancer, it just seems like you're dealing with some newness here. Like you have a new person, but you also have an old energy that's still either around you or you're still conversing with, you're still spending time with. You also may be bogged down with business or trying to start a business or your business. Um, or someone is telling your business, you need help in something or with something I don't think you're speaking on it or about it um yeah you feel like you you met a really good person but you don't feel like you are ready for it the connection some of you feel like you want to run you want to leave it behind because you just aren't ready um let's see what the cards have to say okay Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Cancer with a message. So we're going to do one spread for love and then one for career and finance. But if we get a reading where we get love and career, then that's what we have. We have love and career. We're not going to do a second one. All right. So let's jump into this. Um, what do you have to tell Cancer and love, Lord God? Okay, two cards. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Yeah. In your business, you have a lot going on. You're, you're carrying a lot and you're not asking for help. You're not saying exactly what you need. The business is profitable. It's fruitful, but there's something where you need help. There's something where you need assistance. Um, maybe you're doing all the work. Some of you are in school and it's a lot, but you're stick you're sticking with it. It's hard. Something is hard for you, Cancer. Um you may also have a, a new person in your life who you feel like they're the ideal mate, but there's something that you're still carrying. You haven't put it down yet. There's something you want to tell them. There's a heavy burden on you. Nine of Cups. Wow, this is what you hoped or this is who you hoped and wished, prayed for. They make you very happy. There's emotional satisfaction, but there's still a blockage. You know, something hindering you from going to the next level in business and or love or, yeah. This person may have a nice body too. Um, the Nine of Pentacles here. The Hierophant. Wow, um, you feel like you are around a like-minded individual that you guys think alike or you can hold structured conversation, conversation about anything. You want to establish the establishment of the, um, maybe you want to establish a relationship with them, you want to marry them. Or you just want to be in a committed relationship with them. The, the Ace of Pentacles comes. There is um. There's no offer here, and there's no doing. Cancer. So someone could feel this way about you, or vice versa. Um. Th these are just feelings these are what the person wants what you want but nobody's actually taking action here and this could be why the three of swords somebody is still stuck on an old energy there's three swords one heart so there's new love old love and then there's you cancer possibly or the other person who hasn't healed from a, a past hurt this is so we know the threes are about creation and doing and you know you're creating something it's not yet established so 
what the three of swords says is that you were doing you were creating something with another and then it came to an end a halt a divide a divorce and it could have been due to infidelity so maybe this is why somebody's not coming forward because they still have this burden this hump to get over yeah let's see what the best course of advice or best yeah course of action best advice here for you know what best advice and then we'll do course of action okay best advice for cancer four of cups the world so this is about a person not seeing opportunity presented to them because they're still looking at three we've got another three three of cups they're still looking at and you still got the three of swords this could be you cancer this could be the other person um, you can't see what's being pushed right in your face because you're still focused on old past hurts. Somebody needs some therapy here. So they can close that cycle, close that door, go into a new cycle. Best advice for cancer. Three of cups. Yeah. Celebrate, be happy right where you are. Don't be the four of cups, not seeing what's before you and not creating the happy times. Uh, the dating of somebody, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> don't be in a place of not doing this and then you miss out. Some of you are just not satisfied with any options that you have right now. Some of you just not wanting to commit right now. You you have a lot of options and you're just not ready to commit. Best course of action for cancer. Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Wands. So, wow, the King of Swords. So you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Typically, this is Libra or Aquarius. Cancer, if you feel like you're lucky or you were lucky or you are lucky in something with someone, take action. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Pisces. Someone with Pisces or Sagittarius in their chart. Someone with Jupiter in their in their 10th house right now. Jupiter in the 10th house. Yeah, Jupiter in the 10th house here. Uh, it says, <clears throat> leave behind all things that don't fulfill you and make plans for the future. For the future. Because something is turning around for you. Something is turning over. Something is becoming better. This is an unexpected change. This is good fortune, good luck, but you don't control it, okay? But something is is turning over for you to where you can health, wealth, and happiness is highlighted here. Maybe this person brings about that. We do have the nine of cups for maybe how you feel about a person or how they feel about you. But health, wealth, and happiness is highlighted in some type of connection here. You need to forgive yourself, forgive others, or this is what someone else that you're dealing with, they need to do. Some of you need, this help is also what I mentioned. Some of you need counseling, real counseling. Um, this is a counselor, this is a judge, this is a lawyer. Something is hard for you to get past or to get over. Okay? 
let's see what the angel answers have to say about you and your situation not the right time for something here yeah because somebody still needs to heal forgive heal get past but there will be success here once you choose to actually do the work on yourself within the next few months you have a timeline here and it's up to you you know you cannot do the work you can say where you are the situation will improve and we have at the bottom of the deck, remain positive. Okay. All right, Cancer. Um, I hope that this reading resonated with you. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there, or take advantage of the text question. If you have a question or eight, you can text your eight questions to the number below. Pay for your questions all on your mobile device and receive the answer answers to your question on your mobile device. Um, Cancer, have a really good week. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.